I'm obsessed with a video I saw on Facebook recently. It's a young girl who got bullied for her hair, and she wasn't having it. Take a look. So yesterday, I went to school, and I wore my hair in an afro like this. And a lot of people had a lot of mean things to say about it. So that made me feel some type of way. I told my mom, and she said, promise, don't forget who you are and whose you are. And I said, okay. So today, I'm gonna go to school and I'm gonna come back bigger and better. And don't allow anyone to steal your joy. Don't give them that much power. Oh my God. All right, I see you. Her name is Promise Sawyer. She's only 10 years old, but I want to make her my life coach because I love her. <laughs> Promise is here along with her mother, Queen. So, okay, Promise, tell me what happened when you got to school. So um, when I went to school, I wore my hair in the afro, and a lot of people had a lot of mean things to say about it, and that really surprised me because um, at my other school, everybody used to love it. Like, they would say, I promise, I love your hair. But when I went to this school, everybody just had, like, several negative things to say about it. And just, yeah. Yeah. That's mean. Kids can be mean. Junior high sucked for me. Um, <laughs> it wasn't fun. Um, but as moms, we try so hard to protect our kids, and I'm gonna be real with you, I probably would've walked up to that school. I, I would not have handled that well, maybe lost a couple jobs. I would not have handled that well. Cause it's your baby. Somebody's talking to your baby and they don't even know your baby. They're just making fun of something that's maybe different than what they, they're used to. What did you tell her when that happened? So she came home and of course kind of expressed what happened. She was like, I feel, I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling this. And she kind of gave me like a plethora of, of emotions. Mm -hmm. And admittedly I wanted to like defend and, and I'm like, no, 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 I promise. I had to stop her, we're not having a pity party. And I had to tell her, no, how did you feel this morning? You know, how did you feel when you walked out? And she said, I felt confident, I felt good, I feel great about it, I felt cute. And she, I'm like, okay, she said, but they, they said mean things and they said this, and then she just kept going in. I'm like, no, 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 how do we feel about it? And she said, I felt good. And I said, that's all that matters. I said, you're not good. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so great. So who had, who had the idea to create the video? So we went um, kind of like, the end of that conversation where I told her, I said, we're not going to allow what someone says to dictate our entire day. You can give it a little moment, but not the entire day. And so she said, okay. Such a good person. <laughs> it takes practice. Can takes you write a practice. book? <laughs> <laughs> and so when she said, okay, it wasn't like, a, like, okay, I feel good about it. It's kind of like, okay, here's mom again. But the next morning, I'm just brushing my teeth and she's like, where's your phone? I'm like, okay. So I came out from brushing my teeth and just heard her like saying those words and I was like, that is my kid. Yeah, and I really <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so proud of you. That's so cool that you just, you flipped it. You turned it into a positive. You turned it into confidence. I love that. How did the kids react when you went back the next day? They were kind of used to it, but some people still were asking, like, why are you wearing your hair like that? I was like, why are you wearing your hair like that? <laughs> That's what I would say. <laughs> I love that. Your video, though, has inspired so many people, including my guest, my first guest, y'all. She is a Golden Globe Award winning actress and the star of Blackish. The last time I saw her, she was singing a moment like this at the American Music Awards. It was awesome. <laughs> say hello to Tracy Ellis Ross. Thank you. She'll sit right here. Can you sit right here. Yeah, just a little bit, promise. I saw your video, and I was so moved because your hair is an extension of your legacy, what you come from, your story, and everything that you are, and your beauty. And I'm so glad that you knew at 10 years old what it took me so long to learn about myself. And you are such an example. Well done on the parenting. Well done. Well done. And, and you're very 
honest. Like on yeah. social media, that's what I loved about you, Promise. She's actually the grown version. She's very honest on social media. You don't hide anything. You're very proud of like your body, your hair, where you come from, everything. And yeah. I think that that's a beautiful thing. And it's such a beautiful mat. Look how much you touch people. Thank your hair you. looks gorgeous today, too. It Look does. at this. Yeah. I like the braids, too. I like the braids, too. Promise, what do you want to, do you want to say anything to her? All these women that stand up for like who they are and they're real, they're not filtered all the time, they're just exactly in the raw how they are. Like, what do you want to say to Tracy and all these women that do that? Just keep doing what you're doing and just go make the world a better place. <laughs> oh my God. Well, Tracy, I'm, 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 I can't. I'm done. This wasn't even expected. I'm losing my mind. It's fine. Anyway, Tracy, I love this video of you as well. We're going to roll the tape here. Last night's pasta dinner. Dinner right here. Lunch. And this is God given. First of all, first of all, I would die for that body. <laughs> You look so great in that video, but I love that you were like, this is mine, this is mine. Yeah, and That's, this was beautiful. lunch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite part in totally. But why is it important to you to be able to stand up and be yourself? Why do you feel like that's important? You know, this idea of I woke up like this, like at 18, at 10 years old, maybe I did, but I work for this body and this hair and this face and all these things at 46 years old. And I also really feel like Instagram and, and media and social media can create this image of us, this curated image that people think is real. We as people, as human beings, are these full beings that like have good moments and bad moments, bad hair moments, good hair moments, and all these things. And, and I feel like it's really helpful for me when I see other people in their truth. It makes me feel comfortable with myself. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because um, there's all these things. So um, what was this? So this was important. <laughs> this was important though, right? Yeah. This is amazing. This, Cover, this is gorgeous. Thank you. It's gorgeous, it's beautiful, it's hot, it's sexy, it's all the adjectives. Thank you, and, it, and it's essence. I wanna, <laughs> I wanna borrow that. Yeah. I won't look like that in it, but I That's, wanna borrow it. Yeah, this is what I just wear to bed at night. <laughs> My husband <laughs> dreams I did. Oh, oh, I'm lying. Walking in my flannels. I'm in my glasses. I like to tuck my sleeping t-shirt into my underwear and then the pajama pants over there. Do you not want anything to get in there? I don't like, like a draft when I'm sleeping. Oh my gosh, that's, yeah. I'm opposite. But what does being on the cover of this mean to you? Because that's essence. It means a lot to me. This yeah. is the fourth time that I'm on this cover, actually. Um, but essence does such a beautiful job and has for decades and years and never ending of really representing our community in such a beautiful way and all of our diverse beauty. Curly, coily, and tight textured hair uh, was not always a part of the culture of beauty. Uh, although we, for decades and eons, have been wearing our hair in its natural form, there is a, a revolution of celebration happening right now as people begin to understand uh, the beauty that has existed within us forever. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not gonna stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.